Welcome everyone back to another video as today is OGR game 41 It's just practically gonna be a quick update video because I'm here with my grandparents and tomorrow morning I am uh, flying out to Calgary So I decided that I need to make a quick video so I can upload it tomorrow uh, When I get uh, back home and stuff like that so I can just make a kind of a quick overview of the game uh, Plus I don't really don't got internet here So it's gonna be just a really quick overview of the game and just talk about how shitty we played as we lost five to one uh, it was definitely not a very fun game to uh, watch. I, I I mean, I didn't watch it. I uh, read over some views. Uh, and Dave Tippett has revamped the lineups. And I got to say, wow, what the fuck happened in the lineups, man? Darnell Nurse has been playing like shit. And a lot of people say that uh, he needs to be traded. And I don't know, man. It's a, it's a tough decision with Darnell Nurse. I love the guy, but at the exact same time, he's not been playing his best. As he's going down on the third pairing with Chris Russell. Uh, Club Bomb is playing with... Uh, Baron and I think it's Jones and Larson or something like that. It's a total revamp of the entire court, even the first, second, and third line. Dry cells down the third line. It's it's crazy what's going on with the Edmonton Oilers right now and how big of a fall we took. And uh, it was a rough December. We went four ten and one, and uh, to see how shitty we played against the the Vancouver or the Calgary Flames and the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, I thought we would come back with a little bit more fire, but uh, we didn't. It was a really weird game to watch or to look at back at the views. Uh, my girlfriend kept on calling me every fucking goal to Calgary Flames scored, and man, uh, was it a lot of phone calls. It was uh, another game I liked watching. Uh, EA did get the victory as they are now improving 26 and 14. Uh, we dropped from a wild card spot as now we are in a wild card spot. Uh, we dropped out of the third place divisional spot. So uh, we need to get back in that win column. And hopefully the start of the new year will be bright as we're playing the Rangers on New Year's Eve. So hopefully that will be uh, the start of a comeback for the Edmonton Oilers because we really need to start getting yeah, back in that W column. Uh, need to do something as we sent down Manning and Granlin down to the minors. So uh, we're really looking to probably do some uh, reboots with this team and change up things, uh, which hopefully will be coming soon. Uh, but for right now, guys, I'm going to sign off, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Sorry, guys, also for the short video. I really can't do anything about it. Uh, it's just something that I, I want to go back home, and I want to chillax for a little bit, so don't expect anything special out of this video. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Adios, amigos. Hi everybody, welcome to Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. McDavid's one of those guys who's an attraction selling tickets for this one, Ray. Dangerous offensive player, he can skate and shoot the puck. Any team would be lucky to have him. Two teams hungry for two points and we are ready to drop the puck. Kreider swooping in on the attack. Right in the slot. He scores. This is like the hockey equivalent of a buzzer beater, eh? Yeah, it didn't look like there was going to be enough time. The puck's in the net. And now they feel really good about themselves going into the next period. A quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. And now he moves it to Dreisaitl. On the attack along the boards. Puts it on net, makes the save, scores! Not the special teams unit we expected to deliver. No, this is a real turning point in the game here as the shorthanded group capitalizes, gets on the board. You want money, you go to the bank. You want bread, you go to the store. You want goals, you get into the net. The rebound's there, he puts it away. In the net. Nugent Hopkins takes it across the line. Let's it fly, Whoa. he scores! Jumps all over his rebound and puts it in! Once his puck bounces off the goaltender the first time, the shooter's the next guy in position. The D can't turn quick enough, and he puts it away into the net. And in the game, he turns that puck over, trying to make something out of nothing. Stopped by the goaltender. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it! Followed through to the net. He picks up this rebound, makes no mistake. Once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net, the goalie's at your mercy. 
and he does not miss. The stick there. There's the collision. Centered out in front. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that pass is on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. Ray is a guy who's got over 400 goals in the NHL. I would think in moments like this, it's just one giant collective exhale. You can't even believe how bad you feel, how embarrassed you feel when your team's on a long losing streak. And to have it come to an end is such a great feeling. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.